Maria and Joe Live TV, and this is Maria. Hey, this is Joe over here. I'm glad you invited me, Maria. Sometimes you forget to call my name. I know, right, Joe? <laughs> and of course, we have here uh, Don Smith that we're going to be talking uh, to in a moment. And before we go actually uh, to our show, I would like to uh, say that Joe is late again. That's why we are late showing live. I, I don't know what time is it. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to have my lunch. You rushed me through lunch. What's that all about? I'm just lucky like he's not a teenage girl. girl. <laughs> See, that, he does put his makeup viewer, so I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, before we go to uh, uh, Don, we're going to have a chance to talk all about your uh, giving water later. Uh, oh, thank yeah, you. We would like to go on our inspirational quote. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You were ready for this. Come on, what's your inspiration? What what's that? What do we have? Talk to us, Maria. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is what Joe and do every single week is. Uh, but anyways, our inspirational quote of the week is drum roll. Joe, I don't have it. You have it. <laughs> Well, you know what? We are actually talking about. No, this is a, no, no. I, I think I have it. It says, "Don't be a dreamer, be a doer." That's okay, Joe. You don't have to look at it. I got it. Don't be a dreamer, be a doer. It's literally saying that you know, you can actually dream of what you wanna be when you are younger. You know, when you grow up, you wanna be this, you wanna be that. But if you don't put an action to it, it's not gonna happen. Nobody gonna do it for you. So that is part of our episode today. It's about personality types. Uh, what type of personality? Uh, what type of personality are you? You can be actually a, a decision maker. You can be a follower. Go ahead. Well, so we don't want to live in La La Land. It's okay to dream, but you have to get out of that La La Land stage. To do something with your life and take action. Absolutely. Korea. Yes, yes. So that, that's our inspirational quote of the day. Make sure that you have actually set a plan on your dream. You need to actually plan ahead of time. You have to have a solid plan. Plan A, plan B, and then exec execute it. You have to do something. Be with influencers. You know, you cannot just dream and dream and dream. You want to be all, you want to be a doctor, you want to be an attorney, you want to be a singer, you want to be an actor, you want to do everything without doing, without actually uh, making a step forward on your dream. It's not going to happen. Like Joe. Well, that's true. A lot of us talk about we want to plan our work, but we also need to work our plan. And that's where a lot of us fall short. So we, we can plan things all day long, but very few of us put it into action. So plan your work and work your plan. So what do you think about that, Don? I've been doing that. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, I think you have to. I think it starts with writing it down and putting it on paper and then speaking it and actually engaging the people you need to activate the plan. There's a process to the whole thing. It is, <clears throat> yeah, there is a process, I love that. And you have to talk to people about it and be willing to share your idea and be willing to listen to people because they have good ideas too. And remember that it's all information and it's your choice what you do with the information. Yes, of course. And Joe is actually, I don't know what you're doing, Joe. You're in a show, remember? <laughs> I do. I don't know what you're doing. Well, well, those, are, those are good points. Uh, listen to other people. I mean, even if we have a good plan, it, it doesn't mean someone has a better plan or can help us along the way uh, make sense of everything we're trying to do. Unfortunately, a lot of us uh, get real stubborn. We think we know the best, we have our mind set, 
we don't want it to change or or distract ourselves from our plan. But sometimes our plan is screwed up and it takes a little bit longer to get to our, our final destination. So I like your point. Listen to others and try to maybe get some advice or even mentorship to ensure we're all on the right path. Yeah, but don't, don't take uh, Joe as your mentor though. <laughs> Hey, I mentorship. Mentor, I mentor a dozen people at the moment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, another thing too is to work your plan backwards. And to work your and see your plan from every angle. I know with the giving water, that's what I did. How is the consumer going to see it? How's the sponsor going to see it? How's the community going to see it and use it? I think when you have a plan, a lot of people just say, oh, I'm going to make this widget. And they never think about, okay, well now that I've made the widget, how am I gonna get it out there? Mm -hmm. How are people going to engage in it? What are they going to do with it? I mean, yeah. the rocks in a box, the rock in a box, the pet rock was a great idea. Yeah. But he had to think about it. I have a rock, now I gotta put it in a box. Yeah. <laughs> and now I gotta say, oh, I gotta Marks. make people of the year. He, oh, yeah, yeah. he died a couple years ago, I think, too. Well, uh, what um, Dawn was talking about is we actually have her um, 5013C company. Yes. Uh, and it's, a, it's a non profit, it's actually uh, the Giving Water job. The Giving Water, where she works with all her dreams, her dreams to help the community, to, her dream to actually make everybody drink water, her dream of, she's putting it to work. This is what you call, uh, don't be just a dreamer, be a doer. Right? And it takes a while to put a plan, well, a plan like this together, because this is pretty massive and has a lot of integral parts in it. Yeah. But, the first thing is starting and you're going to get rejected and yes. people are going to tell you you can't do it. And, or they're like, but, what are you doing? That's not going to work. You know, that's that's other things that these negative people. But right. It also comes with focus. You need to be focused on what you really vision, vision to do. Right. Yeah. And you know what feels good and you know what doesn't feel good. So base your your Intuition, midline yeah. your intuition on that and what you want to do yes but i think you always have to remember to predict the future you have to create it and that's what i've done with the giving walk it's really fun um, it's really funny because i've been uh, I've, i'm going through on every step of my vision uh -huh. i'm going through in you know, every step and i'm the kind of person that's actually Focus, so focused where I cut off people who's actually giving me those negative where well, I didn't cut people but I actually just say you know what we can you know we don't need to you know we don't need to move forward together so yeah. like Joe Joe is actually one of the person that um, actually uh, fall into the cliff on the line <laughs> <Just kidding>. ah! <laughs> we think when it comes I <laughs> I think when it comes to negative people or things that are said negative, first you have to watch yourself aye, aye, aye. and you have to monitor yourself and pay, let's take a word like grateful mm. and appreciative, mm -hmm. okay? If you're standing in gratitude or you're grateful for something, that's saying that you come from lack and that you come from something that you don't have. Whereas if you stand in appreciation for something, that's just keeping you in a space that's appreciative, where you're not worried about what you didn't have. Mm -hmm. You're just focusing on what okay. there is yeah. and what you can have. Yes, I love that. So I think it takes, and this takes practice. I mean, you have over 80,000 thoughts a day. Yes. You can't maintain that. I mean, look at the wives in Utah that have 12 kids. They can't do it. <laughs> so <laughs> you shouldn't be expected to do it either. But you can start them one at a time. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a great trick that I use. It's 17 seconds. Mm -hmm. And it's just a reboot. 
If you can't think of something positive, just shut up for 17 seconds. I love that. Think of something happy and then start over again because you're in a new space. Nice. Well, you know what? We are in Empowerment with Maria and Joe Live TV. And this is all, these things that we talk about is all about empowering and building your self-team, building your, your self-confidence. So we will be right back on our next segment with Maria and Joe Live TV. All right, see you soon.